don't think that we're maturing much as a generation. I mean, look at me, I'm a grown man. That's what that looks like in 2015. <laughs> Take a good look at adulthood and then look around. Because I'm not the only one here tonight of legal drinking age dressed for recess. <laughs> if a kickball game broke out, a lot of us would not need to change clothes. <laughs> and I didn't put this 12-year-old boy outfit on for the show, either. I wear clothes like this every day of my life. I eat cereal for dinner. I play video games. And if I see an automatic door, I may make a Jedi motion. <laughs> I like to read books, too, but I'm not one of those people who thinks that any book is automatically better than whatever movie they make based on the book, you know? <laughs> a movie comes out or a TV show, it's based on a book, everyone goes, oh, but the book is always so much better. <laughs> not always. Books depend on me. <laughs> I have a horrible visual imagination. <laughs> I can barely draw. HBO has 57 artists with master's degrees in making medieval armor. <laughs> Their version of Game of Thrones is gonna be way better than the piece of crap production my brain put on <laughs> with the castle from He-Man. <laughs> I'm glad that Game of Thrones is huge now, though, so that regular people can see the fantasy world that nerds like myself have been living in since the 90s. <laughs> but what's weird to me is that when nerds create fantasy worlds, and we are the only people that do, we create fantasy worlds where we would die in <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It takes a long time to write a book. And a fantasy world can be anything you want it to be. Why make up a world where the good-looking, strong people win again? <laughs> Why not make a world where we come out on top? Where it's like, your knowledge of Bruce Campbell trivia is impressive, Lord Stannis. <laughs> but only he who eats the most pretzel combos may sit on the beanbag throne. <laughs> Man, I've always been a nerdy guy, but I never talked about it in my act before. But now that I do, I take crap from other comedians like, oh, you can be the nerd comic now? You're gonna jump on the nerd bandwagon because it's cool now because of Avengers? I was like, no, I'm not jumping on any nerd bandwagon. I'm just from a time when it was so shameful to be a nerd that I'm only okay with talking about it now, 20 years later. <laughs> If you wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons when I was in high school, you needed three friends who could keep a secret. <laughs> the first rule of Fight Club was absolutely the first rule of pretend wizard Fight Club. <laughs> But now, nerdy things are cool. I was in Chicago. The city put out these chess boards. They're made of stone. People play chess in the park all day long. I went down there to see who was playing, expecting a bunch of pale, nerdy clones of myself. It was all cool, middle-aged black guys. Every table was like watching Samuel Jackson play Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> And I didn't know why. And then I went to New York, and they had chessboards too, but they had two kinds of people playing. There were black guys, but then there were Jewish guys from Russia. And then I was like, okay, now maybe I get it. You know, both groups have had a long history of oppression. Maybe to them, chess looks a lot like how life works. You start all the way in the back. An entire country stands against you. Every level of society, from the king to the bishop, to the army. They want you to advance no further. You only get one move at a time, and if you mess up even once, you die. <laughs> and white Christian people heard that and were like, that's not how life works. <laughs> I know the bishop. He loves me. <laughs> life works like my favorite game, Monopoly. <laughs> yes. 
start out with a ton of money. You drive around blowing it on bullshit. And if you mess up, you use your get out of jail free card. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos. Please.